Is that holding a knife? Psst. Hey, kids, I couldn't help but overhear that guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? I might be able to help you out with that. This guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? <laughs> As you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent, high-functioning creatures. The smartest of all of us all, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. A fabled device of legend that, when complete, will entirely revolutionize. He calls it the bed. What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Give me a bed first, and then we'll talk. A bed, huh? That seems simple enough. Wait, Kel, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, hero. But something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Do we do it? Hey, no questions. Give me a bed first. Okay, let's save first, just in case. Might be the knife, though Amori also has one. True. Uh, I don't know which one. I'll just save over this, I guess. Nothing really happened besides the boss fights. I'm trying to be like, if I decide to, once completing the story, go back and do stuff. Or like trophies or whatever. That I can, I can. Last, where in the world is my good-for-nothing son? Last night, I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bed. I'm longing to hear the results. Hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Sleeping in the bed. There's nothing down here. The, the knife makes him suspicious. Suspicious. I remember somebody said they were like in a room it wasn't you yo you want tofu yeah yeah thank you for the tofu I really needed that here's my most prized possession a big air horn okay cool this guy there he is I was gonna say I knew there was something use big air horn oh yeah Oh my gosh. Who are you? Oh no, I'm late. Could it be that I... No! I must have overslept, but sprout moles don't oversleep. That's great. The bed, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. Give me it. I better tell dad about... You fucking give me that bed, I swear to God. Starting to push me off. I want to see if there was anything over here. Hi, Darcy Do. Time is it? Four? How long would you say the, uh, the, uh, uh, like, real-life sections are? If you just do the story. By the gods, son! Where have you been? I, I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night while I was testing the bed, I, 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 I overslept. Shorter than headspace. No, it can't be. If what you've said is true, then all my research, this invention, the bed, it's all too powerful. You see, my theory was that a bed would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but what good is it if the very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? It has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there, child, take this bed away from us. We have no need for such power. Definitely not as long. Yeah, yeah, I think somebody was saying that. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today. Because I would like to, if we could today, I'd like to get through the next... Uh, like, main, the uh, real life section. This and the next real life section. Because I feel like this is probably... We're probably getting to the end of this... Uh, headspace stuff. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a bed. A real, genuine, bona fide bed. I'm going to use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the attitude? I may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. 
Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. That sounds like Rosa. The menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, Amori. We gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. Where's Rosa, though? Last time we saw her, she was in the castle, right? Oh, I don't want to go that way. This leads us back this way. Horse. Okay, that's still locked. Go away. Oh, right. I don't have the sprout thing anymore. That's why they're... I was like, why are they chasing me now? It's okay. I've leveled up a lot since I came in here. I don't even know what level we were when we came in here before, but... Where did we see Rosa? She in the in the dungeon, right? Is where she was like, "Yo, Mori learned twenty uh, level twenty five and learned stare." Uh, I forgot what's this way. Oh, the ballroom. I don't think there was anything in here, right? This game is so weird, but I love it. Like, it's really, it's it's so I just want to know what the story is. Did you dance with the single sprout mole? Oh, no, I didn't. Should I? Gotta show him some love. Oh, there's a mirror. That wasn't there before, was it? I don't think so. Do I dance? Do I do I have to, or is it just like a little flavor thing? I'll go do it. Nope, go away, Sprout. Sprout Mole. Oh, this one? Hello. I want to dance, but no one will be my partner. Will one of you? Yes. Okay, I won't disappoint you. Oh, that's cute, though. That's cute. We dance with a little... You're welcome. What is this feeling? My heart is racing so fast. Isn't there also like a, there's something else that I couldn't go in. It looked like, like a, like a hole in the wall, but there was paint in front of it. No! I don't remember where that was, though. This way?
No, no, no. This is her. This is her room, right? I don't see anything else here. I've seen you a lot in the latest episode. It was an episode worthy of my dearest sweetheart. Could do without the ending. Yeah, nothing. Okay. What are you guys all doing? This is awkward. But uh, I thought that was going to be like a Captain America moment. I was going to have to fight everybody in here, you know? It's just like stuff like that. The humor is great. I still, I still, it, the daddy long leg air, like that moment was pretty cool. Like that had some, I just, I want the, I want it to be like scarier, you know? There's the ghost, but I can't do anything with that yet. I don't think. I have no idea where Rosa is. Oh, shit. Sometimes it's a little hard to tell what emotion they are. I think it's that's happy and sad, right? Oh, no, he's angry. Was it the library? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, the music's just great. Oh, shit. I wish I had the sprout mold mask on or or like that these didn't spawn anymore. Like with with the puzzle might not even be in the castle. Oh, Rosa. I know I have a uh there was like another quest that gave me learn sh hero learn share food. I should probably look at what these skills are. I keep not doing that. I'm like trying to go. You got something, didn't you? Stare reduces all the foe's stats. Oh, that's actually really good. Painful truth. Cost 45, though. Did you get something? Mash. If this skill defeats a foe... Rec oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. If it defeats a foe, she recovers 100% 100, 100 juice. He has a lot of juice to a friend, but also hurts the friend. Juice me. That seems really good, though. And then what did you get? Share food? Hero and a friend recover some heart. I think I'm actually going to do that instead of... The other one just doesn't seem that good. Do, do, do. I wonder if there's a new movie. Do I want? Sure. Nope. I got that one a lot, actually. No, no, it's okay. I'll, we'll, I'll leave. It's obviously not here. I don't remember where I saw that paint. There was like a paint bucket in front of a. like a hole in the wall, but I think that might have been maybe in the dungeons. Do I need help? No, good. The Dunga. 
Another pearl? Maybe it was down here. I know the last time we saw Rosa was in here. there was anything I could do down here. Uh, kind of curious. Go away! Maybe it wasn't here. Maybe it wasn't here and I just was going, I got distracted by the mirror. Nope. I'm just gonna leave the castle. <clears throat> I don't remember where the pink paint bucket was. We went down here, didn't we? This is where the movie theater is? Yeah. We did the up part too. Oh, poor Harold. He's gonna get demolished. The one yeah, yeah, there was like something there. If you know where that is, I'll take it. I don't know if I can access it, but I feel like there was so definitely something there. Back where all the letters and gifts to Sweetheart was. Oh. Ah! I didn't realize it was that late into the dungeon. For some reason, I... Or the this area. so much XP. 900 XP each, or each battle. Yeah, and then this leads outside. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do, I didn't check under here, did I? Yeah, there it is. Oh, is that the... A simple futon. The sheets are cheap, lumpy, and have many holes in them. I wonder if that's the, supposed to be the painter that you see in the real life thing. Le Gasp, could it be? Ah, oh, finally, some company. I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last I have an audience. Who am I, you ask? Why? Rococo. I am the great and upcoming artist Rococo. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. Excuse us. Please listen. I'm so lonely. Me when I'm streaming. Right. Now, where should I start? In the beginning was me, crying in a pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. Goku? I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire fire everywhere in the darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar in a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. <laughs> they go and sit down. They're like, oh, we're ready. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. What? She brought me to her family. Oh, that's why she has a circle. Oh, she's a donut. Of, obviously. She brought me to her family and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well, she's literally a sweet jelly filled donut. 
Anyway, I learned to run, and I got quite good at running, but there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time, but even though that suffering, I stood firm, because even then I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason, one reason only, to repopulate my entire species. I gotta go. There is a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my story, alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. So, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I've been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since surviving off, off old toast and tofu. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes, you four are the first living beings I've seen since that fateful day. What is happening? That's a really, um, shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. For the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. What is going on? Since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you a thousand clams. Well, what do you guys think? A thousand clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please, commission me! We will think about it. Yes, yes, of course. Do take your time. I will stand right here until then. What are these? Artist in your DMs. Yup. I will only charge you a thousand. Have you decided to assist? Sure. I have, I have a thousand. Le Magnificent! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. Thank you, thank you. A oh, trophy! Commission Rococo. If I... I won't disappoint you! Okay. Do we go back in and they've done it? Oh, no. <laughs> I, okay. Trophy! I am mad about getting trophies, I'll tell you that. Uh, I guess then the thing I need is not in here. It's gotta be elsewhere. Maybe in the forest that we ran through? Do you say anything? What an explosive finale! Isn't she just the greatest? Oh. 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 PlayStation 5 controllers, you know? I gotta get one of those uh, chargers that do the... You know what I'm talking about? The double ones there? I love how I was like, I just want to focus on the story, and then I'm like, well, what if I try to find stuff? What a dumbass. Or it's not completable for now, or it's in a different place, who knows. Yeah, that's the, that's the... That's why I was like, I don't know what does for story, you know what I mean? Well, I do know that I can at least do... The, uh... I can at least do the, um, some of the other stuff I have, right? <laughs> Basil? 
I've looked all over, but it doesn't look like it's around this area. We can't give up. Basil needs us. Uh, I think Basil is in... It's not looking good. Maybe you can help by retracing his steps and sprout... Oh, okay. So it is there. Where, where Bagel? Brazil? Where's Brazil? What if Sweetheart isn't a donut? What if she is a bagel? What a twist. That would be like... You know what I mean? So Rosa must be in here somewhere. That's not her, right? Barbell. She's got to have a bow on. There's no one with a bow up there. I guess I didn't really look around. Oh. Rosa, the jig is up. Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away. Obvi I didn't even... Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran away. <laughs> With that blasted space, space boy again. Sweetheart was only a few doors away, but now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? Uh, I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Now give it back. What is it? This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair. Oh, it's fighters keepers. Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rosa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew, no, I don't want to hear it. The hero's like, I'm gonna... There's no way that I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Now get out of my house! This is like barely a house. Is... Because hero just kind of took over there, right? Darn. Oh. Yeah, Rose is being difficult again, huh? Figure, she's always been like that. I'll cut her up. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she'll refuse you after seeing this. Blackmail? Leave me in my new bed alone. Our business is done here. We got blackmail on her. Don't talk shit about her house. It's not much, but it's hers. Yeah, well, guess what? It's ugly. And so is she. You amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rosa is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to... Hey, Rosa! Check this out! <laughs> where, where did you get that? What is it? I, I've changed my mind. Please, kind sir. I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand over that blackmail at once. You wanted Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it! Cute. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram! Okay, bye. Guess I should have just looked around the village a little closer instead of uh, running all throughout the castle. That's okay, I found the artist, dude. I would have totally forgot about that hole in the wall. You found it, my precious thing. Yeah, what is it? Thank you, I say thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. A sweetheart bust. Isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. Guessing that's a charm. Oh, is that it? I'll be guided to my seat by none other sweetheart herself. Yeah. No one's gonna tell them that. No one's gonna tell them that, uh. Okay, cool. Oh. Uh. That was definitely a. Oh, you use it? A bust of sweetheart. It's really heavy. Like, really, really heavy. You use that 
It low oh it lowers her speed to one. But it also makes her hit real hard. You know what? Let's use it, dude. I don't care. She doesn't need to go first. It's a weapon. That's amazing. She's gonna bust some stuff up, dude. Alright. Uh don't really need. We just use this, right? Where do we want to go, though? I need... Doesn't need to start fighting. Exactly. We need to go to Otherworld, for sure. I love how Kel just holds on. Uh, right? And then the... Where was the... Trying to remember how to get to the mole dudes. That guy wanted a donut, or he lost his donut. Ah! Yeah, I don't remember where that is. I think it's around here, though. Ouch. Come on. I probably should have checked to see how much damage. Uh, I want to know how much Aubrey does now. See you. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah, yeah. The follow-ups are different. I forgot. Not different, but enhanced. The barn's down there, so it's not there. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I don't think I need to do this at all, but... You're enhanced. It's true. See you? What's that? You have a package for me? You gave the care package to Brother Mole. This is from my brother. There's 99 tofu in here. <laughs> he knows me so well. Thanks for the delivery. I was saving this for a rainy day, but now that I have my care package, he gives me 99 tofu. No, okay. Slurp tofu, so good. Wait, that's all I got was life jam? I don't think there was anything else to do here. Where does this way lead? Oh, yeah, yeah. Would have been faster to go that way then, huh? Uh, there was... An... Oh, this is the... Oops, I didn't mean to moonwalk, but it's still cool. <laughs> Burn out. This person's in here. Was the password? But we don't have a password. No password, no entry. Snow cone area down there. I don't have anything though. Maybe I could use the trap door down there. Junkyard. I like that the map is like not super confusing. You know, you can kind of you can kind of get it. Um. Did she say anything? No. Oh, there's uh, the book stuff. I'm just thinking of what I can do while I'm here. 
Because I have a feeling if we go where that hole was, that's going to be the end of it. Greetings and welcome. Oh, shit. No. Oh, good. I'm glad it gave me a confirmation there. I think we go here, right? Or maybe the other one. No, I think this is, I think this is right. Did she say anything? Nope. Just double checking, just double checking. Yeah, because we have, there was somebody that needed a teddy bear. And somebody needed a book, right? Should I just do another rare bear? Oh, right. We're going to have to, I'm going to have to come back here anyways once I learn how to not be afraid of drowning, as as you as the kids say. This place is really overgrown, isn't it? You're all so brave for going through this forest. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it was used for. Did I just not talk to her before? We definitely... I feel like the mirrors are something. I don't know what they are, though. Nothing that way. Okay, you're the book? That, oh no, you're Teddy Bear, okay. Guess we're taking a break before DTQs are long. Yeah, I. it's a good time to take a break. I think we're gonna be doing, oh, cute. I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. A rubber duck. Oh, I know, would you like a cup of tea? Oh, it's... What? Can Candly and Teddy are having a tea party. Oh, she's a candle. That's what she is. Uh, This weekend, I think we're going to do... Oh, rubber duck. Oh, seven defense, huh? That's actually a lot. Maybe we give that to... Definitely give that to Kel, then. I mean, uh, Hero. I was thinking of doing Final Fantasy XIV this weekend. Do the uh, Blue Mage stuff? Ah! More WoW stuff. Because I haven't, I haven't played since we did, uh, since what, last weekend or last week, weekend before that? think this way? Yeah. What to read, what to read. I've read every book on this shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. Where'd you come from? You gave an interesting book to Demi. Demi? Wow, this book sure is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> It's an interesting book, some would say. Oh, sorry, I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. Let's see here. How about this one? I'll take another book so other people can get XP. This book is a collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. A deep poetry book. Ooh. Wait a minute. Does that just give the bearer permanent sadness? Wearer starts sad in battle. <gasps> oh, that's really good for a Mori. I like that. I wonder, though, if, like... I don't know. Uh, This is the... Is 
the normal forest. Yeah, I like I like being I said that very early on too of getting like an accessory or something that would give me a uh sadness thing would be cool. Wonder if she says anything now. Nope. I was just checking. I love that that's Charlie. Charlene is Charlie. Or at least I think so. Oh, these... So... Wait, do these... You have to water these multiple times? Maybe after big events. Hmm. Okay. I like how you can get hearts and get health from it. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought... I thought it just was like a do it every day type of thing. Because the game is basically broken up into days, right? Like you have... You have your prologue and then it was real life then headspace i'm guessing real life then headspace you know what i mean because we gotta we have one more fear as far as i know we have to break our fear of drowning which means we'll have another area of headspace to explore seems like that's kind of the layout of the game oh right and the different flowers give them health Love it. Well, I wonder if his house is different then. Hmm. Oh, nothing dead there. That's it, though, right? I kind of want to check his house to see Basil's house. You say anything else? Nope. Damn. Oh, right. There's still Weeping Willow, Hector, Basil. And there's definitely a reason why this is so dark and, like, Looks like it's the same. It's just the floor is sinking. I wasn't sure if maybe it changed. That's really cool. Now, especially now that we know that, like, I'm guessing it's black black space is what it's called. Blank space. I guess it could be blank or black space. But I feel like blank space would be weird considering white space. Those are for later, so you just don't run around much. The sinkhole thing? Yeah, I'm guessing now that it's going to be like something that happens every major event, like you said. Wow, bunnies. Want to see... I can see that you've 80, I've killed 84 Bundies. I have nothing more. Oh, you don't give me anything else though. I forgot. Oh, I can go this way. Oh, oh. Oh, what's this way? Train station, stop right there. You can't pass without a. 
Whoa, that's a train pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very... Where did I get that? That's an all clear for me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Where the heck? Where did I get that? I don't even know, dude. Why is there a train? Do you want to board the train? Sure. Where are we going? Um, home is not here. Case full of crosses. Bag full of berries. What is going on? Hello? Crystals. Where is home? Home is not here, but where is here? What did I just do? Oh. When she was crying. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's cool. There's like. Uh oh. What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Should I not have come here? The train is moving. Yes, it is. There's like a bunch of eyeballs. That's. This is fine. That's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, ah! I'm just going to attack to see if it does anything. Tomas. What? Liar. It said liar. Tomas, Tomas, Tomas. That's not creepy at all. Tomas, I'm sorry. Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oasis. Oh, that's where they, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage and please ride with us again. Oh, there, everyone's toast. Toast. Everyone died on that trip. That's terrifying. Isn't the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. Abba! What is happening? Blue gets down easy, but he just needs someone to listen sometimes, and that someone is me. Everyone here is so different and interesting. I wonder what makes me different and interesting. The weather's even hotter than before. I remember that guy. This area is entirely optional. Okay, well, let's go. Can't even remember why I wanted to come here. Oh, these guys? <laughs> Over. <laughs> Over. Cool. A rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. That's you. Chomp, chomp, chomp. These are all the people that were in line. That's funny. I've never been to this stop before. I can't wait to explore Orange Oasis, land of opportunities. So... Do I just take the train back, or is there a fast travel thing here? Okay, there is. Alright, you said it's entirely optional? There's no, like, story or anything? This looks really cool, though. It's a big apple. Yes, it is, Mimi. Yeah, I won't. I won't do. I'll just look around real quick and then. 
there anything back here? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can do stuff with that. Dandelion. Bro, there was another one of these. Uh, what are those? Oh, that guy again. Wishbone? How you do, buckaroo? Name is Mr. Outback, and I was busier than a moth and a mitten traveling the world in my youth. Nowadays, I'm more reserved, standing on a cliff and give advice to those who are willing to ask. They know more than they're letting on. We got a third eye, you could say. A sixth sense, if you get my drift. You, th Your three purple-haired friends are full of love and spirit, but you, dark-haired kiddo, your aura is all cattywampus. It's all dark and twisted. It ain't mellowing down anytime soon. You got real journey ahead of you. Now, that's not to discourage you, boy. Everyone's got their own journey, and I'd be obliged to help you all in yours. I can answer a handful of questions, so ask away. Where is Basil? Well, your friend ain't here is all I can say, but I think you know you have a way of knowing that answer. When someone looks for the truth, the world will create a set of keys. And those keys, they'll take a different form depending on the person's will. You know what your keys look like, don't you? Just press L1. What? Where am I? That's a good one. Now, where do I start? Hmm. Well, this place has been around since the beginning of time, I guess. Looks different to everyone, but this time around, it's pretty colorful and cutesy for the most part. Not to mention pretty dang big. That's a powerful imagination you got there, kiddo. And that's all she wrote. I love how... Oop. No, I know nothing from an old geezer. Whatever floats your boat. I'll be here rooting and tooting for you. Rooting and tooting. All right, so... Wow, this place is big. Okay. Ah! Oh, hi, Mari. Guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. It's brown sugar. And isn't that sweet? It sure is hot out here, though. Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. This is a uh, weird... Brown sugar feels good on my feet. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. Don't do that. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you even think that? You're so weird. We all have weird thoughts... Kel just doesn't think before he says them out loud. Hey, I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, then say it. That's just wrong, Kel. You should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You, Miss Bossy Pants? I have plenty of self-awareness. I know where I am at uh, all times. <laughs> She's loosen up, you two. Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. Hi, Lasuria. It's good. It's weird. That's the laziest answer I've ever heard. I expected better from you. Oh, man. What'd I say now? All right. Let's get out of here. We'll use this. All right. So, Tomas, you said this is all optional, this area. It also looks big, so... What is that? A treasure map. Okay. Ah! Cupcake bunny. Bye. Okay, really easy. But it takes a while. I won't worry about it right now then. Chris set with the raid. What's going on? Hello, hello. Thank you. How was the world of Warcraft? Some cool stuff here. Yeah, but I want to focus on the story. I don't want to do, like, I don't want to end up doing too much. Hello, raiders. Thanks for raiding. My name is Corey, Missile Dine Online. Uh, we're playing a game called Amori, which is a psychological horror RPG. Um, fairly light on, on the horror. But there's moments when it's, uh, they got it. Yeah, we started playing it for Tomas's birthday, one of my mods, and uh, I was intrigued enough by the story to be like, you know what? Let's let's take some time to see what's going on here. Ooh, there's peach soda back there. It is cute, but really weird. It's very weird, very weird game. If you've ever heard of Earthbound, it definitely has those types of vibes.
I mean, it should be weird. Dealing with a traumatized kid, I think. But it's cool. Oh, maybe check the shop. Maybe we'll check the shop. Waffles? Pancakes? Very smooth air horn. I think I'm gonna do some berry smoothies. I got clams. I got clams for days. <laughs> Wait, uh, waffle designed to hold syrup. Pancake not designed to hold syrup. I don't really feel like I need. Oh, what was that, Darcy? Okay. I'm that tofu connoisseur. I love all kinds of tofu. Each piece of tofu is unique and deserves to be enjoyed. If you trade me 10 tofu, I'll give you a snack that I have gathered. <gasps> Would you like to? I, I knew there was a reason I bought tofu. A cheeseburger? I told you there was a reason, y'all. What do we get? Another cheeseburger. Nice. I feel like this is a common commentary on vegetarians, vegetarians or something. I like the music here too, though. All right, we're gonna go. Holy cow! <laughs> All right, we'll do. We'll do this, and we go. I'm guessing we just go back to. Let's just continue the story then, yeah? <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Pluto's. Okay, good. We have it unlocked. So we pyre fly and then back. Okay. Thank you for the raid, raiders. Thank you for coming. I hope WoW is treating you well. I'm excited for to get back into Mop Remix too, especially after the buff that just happened. To bronze gains, 100% more bronze, 200% threads. Was waiting for them to do that. Knew they would. So in the back of my mind, I started feeling like everything I do is going to be useless. Um, I guess I should save before... Let's just save over that. Just in case I feel like going and doing any side stuff off stream. Uh, all right. Well, before we do this, let me use the bathroom real quick. I'm a little, uh, I'm sure this isn't going to be, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Here we go. Those are all those flowers. The orchids symbolizes the phrase, my thoughts will follow you into your dreams. It's gotta be, it's so basil, like we're dreaming, but basil's thoughts are. Following us into our dreams. The same flower is in his grandmother's room, the orchid and it's also at Mari's grave. What's that? Find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. 
One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally drops onto Blank's shoulder. Sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. He makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Uh, I don't know. It just says block, block, block. Mountains of books forgotten through time. The keepers of the library have long since passed. Oh, this is the library that's underneath them. That's why they said, okay. That makes sense. I mean, it doesn't, but you know, I'm sure. Okay. You find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Kel, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty, guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, Kel disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy, wet tracks all across the carpet. Hero's face turns red and yells for Kel, but Kel is already long gone. Or Mari... Hero hands Mari some wet paper towels. Looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with Kel later. Hmm. I didn't mean to click that. I don't see anything else over there. The sound design is so good. It was a hot summer day, and all I could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to... Uh... Um, uh... Tomas, Sonny, and Aubrey's work? All day, I watched... Hero lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched... Uh, Kel hammer his fingers over and over, and made note that over an hour has passed since... Uh, Hero has climbed down... Oh, no, Mari has climbed down her ladder. I'll just be their moral support, I thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. So this is Basil narrating all of this. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. I know this and agree, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. Poor Basil. I like how... Oh! That was cool. A little ghost. A little ghost boy. This year, was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class would gaze listlessly through the opening at the shadows of the tree, the clouds creeping overhead, his mind drifted elsewhere into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. Looks away from the opening. Cal smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Some, uh, someone's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. So, are we Basil's? That's the thing, like... Basil's pulling us into his dream somehow? sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. 
Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Hero jumps first, then Kel. Then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge me to join them, and after some careful thought, warily agrees. Shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they could give out at any, at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. In an instant, he loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. He shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him, which is why he's afraid of heights, drowning. So Amori's not... So we're... Okay. So, is a Mori? Excellent. Exactly. Is more a, a Mori is definitely Sunny slash Tomas's, or it could just be where it's Basil. It's actually Basil that's. Amori is Basil's. Like. There's something over there. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 to 11, a group of six friends sat. Eat, uh, eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Looks at the clock, 8 a.m., two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 when his tutor arrives. He grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Oh. Something opened. I'm guessing it's over that. It's that. Oh, there's another key. Seven keys left. Oh, wait. That looks like an opening now. All right, it's definitely black. Take this L, streamer. L is in the first word as well. It's definitely in black space. Something. There's a two letter word there. I guess it could be or. It's not like in or is or on. What is, what is that? Oh, wait. Okay. So hard for me to see. Um, so wait, does this? Part of this shelf, there's a hole here. Oh, shoot. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Don't forget, it's in the toy box, is what it said, right? Nothing new there. That's always going to be the same thing, right? Looks like it's getting darker. All right, well, got 
gotta do what we gotta do. Damn, I wanted to see, I, I thought the other way, I saw the ghost and I thought the other way was where I had to go. Two days left, see, okay, so that is the... new message are you doing okay you haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails if you keep ignoring me i'll start to get worried again i hope you're pacing your chores i don't think even i could finish everything in one day did you end up visiting kill if not it's all right i understand just take things at your own pace by the way can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep we'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore there's only two days left before i come pick you up okay that's it for now hmm <laughs> hmm I hear you, Kel. I have to brush my teeth. How do I do that? The note says to do it. I feel like this game, you have to do what it says. <laughs> the closet downstairs. Yeah, Kel, like, chill, dude. Give me a sec. I'm gonna get the door, dude. That's not a closet. Where's the, is that, was that the closet? of room that he like shakes his head at uh is there a save point in here is there a save point in her room okay there is I guess that one's fine. Wait, okay. I was like, wait, did he stop knocking? All right, hang on. Before we do that, I want to... I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, so the books are all written from Basil's perspective, which I think is saying that we are... Exper everything we're experiencing is Basil's... is actually Basil's headspace. And, like, their view of... Tomas slash Sunny. Like they view they view Sunny Tomas as there we go. As a I don't know, aloof, weird, or like See, I thought that that noise made... Hmm. Jump rope? There's a picnic. Some delicious fruits. Would you... Yes. There's a... The wall feels hollow here. What the fuck? All right, piano. I have about a friend, though. I mean, do they... Have we seen anything, though, that's about... Tomas or Sunny in this imagination? I don't know. A grand piano. The word Amori is etched across the center. So the brand of the piano is Amori? It read more like a third-person narrator, but the blocks are a letter, so therefore they were saying I, but they were also referring to themselves in the third person is what it seemed like to me. It was definitely written... It was definitely written by... Basil. Oh, now you can't even... 
Is that it? That's definitely... I'm glad I came back for that. The word Amori is etched across the center. So the piano is where... What does it mean? That's it, right? Before I reload? Enjoy the cutesy, head-messing horror game. Thank you, Harry. I'll see you. Thanks for bringing up today. Definitely not the most popular game I've streamed, but I just want to see the story, so fuck it. Chat, is that it? Can I load, or is there more in here? See? See, I can... Okay. I know, Kel. I know. I heard you. Hello. Hello. Tomas, are you there? Tomas, you there? That was loud. Uh, open the door. <laughs> 